okay, what I want to address in this video is having to deal with uh, a bitmap uh, showing up on the opposite side of your uh, model. So let me just hide my cameras. And so on this model, on this particular piece, we'll bring up our rendering here. You'll see that I've placed a label on this side, but I don't want the label to show up on the opposite side. So if we spin around, you'll see that the label shows up on the opposite side. Now, in previous versions of the way uh, Max works, is you had, and here's my label right here, once you turned off the tiling. Now, when tiling's on, this function doesn't work. But when you turn tiling off, which we want because we're just doing the label, then there's a button that says show map on back. And this would hide the projection from the other side. Works with that as Max's scanline render. It worked like that in Mental Ray, but evidently Arnold doesn't support that. So even though you do this in Arnold, uh, it's going to still show up on the other side. So the way you deal with this is you do another version of your shader. So what we want to do is, and I'm just going to uh, hide this tree, is we want to put this into our uh, material library, okay, which I already have. So here it is. That's my final mix. So then once it's in the material library, I'm going to pull it back out, okay, and then it, this is going to be a new copy of this material. Now what you don't want to do, which I see people do, what you don't want to do is to take this one and hold down the shift key and drag it over and copy it. Because if you do that, it's linked back to this original one, okay? So you don't want to do that, okay? What you want to do is make sure you put it into the material library. That way, when you pull it back out, then these are two totally separate um, nodes that are not linked to each other. So in this one, I'm going to rename this Final Mix No Label. And so then what I'm going to do here is unhide my tree and then go down here to this mix, this composite where I've put the label in and I just want to turn off. This is your off button. Turn these off. This is the label, but then I also put the stain back on it too. So I have to turn all of these off and I'll leave the bottom one on because that's my normal color going through there. So now this is a version of my uh, original material that has that part turned off. Okay, so I can hide that tree now. Now what I want to do is apply this to this area. So what you're doing is you're clicking on your object and then you're going down to your edit poly at the bottom and then you'll see as soon as you did that it turned a bunch of this stuff off because I don't have in selection on. I'm going to go to polygon. Now what I'm going to do is go up here under my selection method which defaults to a box and I'm going to go to spray paint. And now what I'm going to do is spray paint the polygons that are around wherever that label is. Okay, so make sure you've gone. Matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is not go far enough to show you what it would do if you don't go far enough. So we're going to say that. Now, I would encourage you to save this selection set. Now, you want to make sure when you're doing this that you have this back face call on. Because otherwise, what you could be doing is selecting some on the back side. Okay, you could be selecting some polygons. Matter of fact, I've got some selected there, even though it did that. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key and deselect these to make sure that the only ones that are selected 
And it really wouldn't make a difference if, even if it had projected onto those because this is going to be basically the same. Now, this has to be an edit poly at the bottom. It can't be an edit poly up here. It's only at the edit poly at the bottom that you can have what's called, we're creating what's called a multi sub object material. So, in other words, we're creating uh, two materials on one object. So now all I have to do is to go back in here and now I can apply that to that selection. So now, and what you want to also get in the habit of doing is saving this selection because you might want to come back to it later. So while it's selected right up here, you got what's called selection set. So I can go in here and I can just type in no label and then be sure you hit the um, enter key and what that means is later I could come back here and I could reselect that if I needed to. Okay so I'll be sure to turn that off and then when I go to the top then it's, you won't see the label. Now you'll see because of the way I selected that I only lost part of the label because I only selected this part. Okay, so I didn't select enough. I need to select some more. Okay, so make sure that I've selected enough. And if you select too much, it's okay. And then I'm going to apply this to it. And let me... do this again so no label and that's right we have to add to that let's just call it something else so let's just call it more no label and apply this to it then I want to deselect, turn this off, go back to the top, and now you see the label won't be on there. Still on my other side. So we've put two separate materials on it. We don't get a seam. Because normally if I put a different material, you'd get a seam in there. But you don't get a seam because the material is exactly the same material on here. Okay. It's just that one has the label on it and one doesn't have the label on it. So you're, how you're getting around the fact that that um, showing backside doesn't work anymore by having two shaders. And you've got one that is the one that doesn't have a label and the other one does have the label but they're the other than that they're the exact same shader and of course you know some of this material some of these uh, material uv maps don't need to be on here for this but they need to be on for the other one so you don't change any of this and then that's how you can uh, hide that label from one side to the other is just by making two materials on there just be sure that you know, you give it a unique name, okay, because otherwise it'll overwrite this one. Give it a unique name. And don't do just clone from here that we have a tendency to go shift and just move from here because then that links it to this one. And it's not that you can't detach it, but it's a huge pain in the butt. So the easier thing is just to put this into your material library, then pull it back out. And, of course, you always want to save your material library. You can tell if it's saved or not because it'll have a little asterisk up here if it's not saved. And so now we've got two materials. They're identical except that this one doesn't have the label on it. And I put it onto a selection of faces wherever that label is showing. And then it takes it out so that we don't see it in there anymore. And that's how you get around that. Okay. Hopefully that helps you.